So this is the second half of the collectible guide for Chicory A Colorful Tale. And there's not much more to say that it wasn't said in the first video. We are almost exactly at halfway for the litter. I did uh, discover as I was going through uh, the recording that I did for the first half that um, what we start out with at the beginning of the first video as far as litter is concerned we have four pieces of litter I, uh, I realized that Wisteria who is the spider that we deliver a piece of mail to for the uh, such great heights and postal service um, trophies Wisteria gives us three pieces of litter so I was trying to figure out where two pieces of litter came from and I was counting what Wisteria gave us, the spider, as one. And I, I went back and watched the, the Postal Service um, trophy video and realized that the spider gives us three pieces all at once. So, so that's where that came from. So what you're seeing at the beginning of the collectible video as far as litter is concerned is the one piece of litter that we got from Olive who was the little uh, kangaroo in the Levensies that tells us to paint the world and then gets bored after <laughs> just a few seconds and then uh, gives us a piece of litter and then three pieces of litter from Wisteria the spider who is in I think Supper Woods is where the spider is located so I wanted to just mention that so that uh, you know that everything you're seeing in this video as far as litter is concerned is in here other than those two items. We've already talked at great length about the clothing items and where they came from. Again, I advise you if you're missing anything that's not in this video, go back and watch the, uh, the, the rest of the trophy guides, but especially watch um, at least the end of Lost and Found and watch the Postal Service and Such Great Heights trophy guide and um, I would advise also watching maybe the uh, Style Pro Stylish and Style Pro guide I don't think I get too many items in there but um, and there's a few along the way during the story uh, and those videos are also on on my channel as well um, so if you're missing something obviously as I always do I'm always reading uh, comments I'm always able to uh, to reply back if, if someone has a question about where something is so always feel free to, uh, to, to leave a comment and I will get back to you um, but you should be able to find everything else that you need in here I will be back on here later in the video to talk about decor because there's a lot uh, that happens um, towards the end and some things will need to be explained. Um, and to that end, you know, I, I would suggest you also watch the cartographer trophy guide, uh, basically showing Radish's story because that will play an important part in the end. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the first video, uh, it is very important that you decorate your home and let your mother visit and talk to her until she gives you the family portrait because that is a decor item that I struggled to get in my first playthrough and I had to do an entire full play a second playthrough getting all the collectibles again finishing the story just doing everything a second time and it was kind of a pain in the butt so I want to make sure no one else has to go through that if they watch these videos. So I will be back on later. Uh, keep watching. And uh, I will pipe in if I see something that seems an important uh, thing to mention.
So I'm going to talk to this adult here, and uh, we're going to actually give away our transit badge, our transit pass, whatever it's called. And I kind of cut it a little early here, um, but the guy, um, the rhino, makes it sound like we lose our, our travel, our fast travel privileges. But all you have to do, as soon as he's done saying, do you want a transit pass? Yes. You go back, you just take your picture again, get another transit pass, and uh, you'll see that adult later on. Um, as you as you go around, you'll you'll bump into into them at some point. I I didn't realize until I was putting this video together that there's two pairs of legs on the bottom of that that long trench coat. Um, this little DJ guy, I, I guess he's a DJ because he's wearing a hat. He looks like he he would be a DJ. Uh, this guy who wants to throw a party. This is I'm calling this the second of four decorate quests. Um, you do get a reward for completing that, and we will see that in a few minutes. We're going to pick up a couple, uh, a couple collectibles before we head back for the reward for that. But um, I do want to mention a couple things about that one. So we will get a reward. We're going to get a couch, which is a decor, which is a decor item, and um, we're also going to meet Pistachio. For the first time and pistachio is a turtle i talked about pistachio in the first collectible guide video basically if you put enough chairs out whenever you decide to decorate any area um you you increase your chance of seeing pistachio and if you can make pistachio show up in four different places you can get a full mascot outfit from from the turtle he uh they will first give you the mascot body and then on the uh, that's the third time you see them and on the fourth time you see them they will give you the mascot head but the first two times they will just introduce themselves and say you know interesting decorating skills blah 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 and then the second time they'll say next time you see me i might have something for you the third time uh they will offer you the mascot body or they'll say if you want you can have both pieces when it's all ready um and then you can take them up on that offer or just say that you're gonna wait and then you can get the the final outfit piece uh, on the fourth time you make them show up. So right here actually on this screen is um, later on you're going to see me put the couch that I'm about to get um, in this scene here. Put the couch out and put another um, chair out. It took me forever to get pistachio to spawn for the third and fourth time uh, but eventually it worked. Pistachio is back there. We're going to get the couch from the uh, the snake. You'll see in a little bit all these other little conversations aren't necessary for the uh, collectible guide, but you know, I always like to talk to some of the people. The, um, is that an aardvark? What is that reptilian animal there in the front? That person runs the litter exchange where you can buy a bunch of plants. It's in, it's in dinners. It's, um, towards the bottom left corner of the town of the you know I, I don't know if you call it a town city whatever this is the most bustling area in the whole in the whole province and here is if you want to find out where where you're missing litter you can talk to the bird that's in that house that we just passed spinach is the bird's name so we're gonna we're gonna continue collecting uh, outfits and picking up litter, and then we're gonna, I think, eventually head into Grub Deep. I don't think we've done Grub Deep yet here. Grub Deep is uh, an area that you'll be invited to, and I think it's about chapter three. By a bunch of insects, they'll invite you to the feast. That is kind of where the queen of all the bugs lives. It's a pretty cool scene. It's a lot of fun. Some neat uh, puzzles down in Grub's Deep. You get to ride these kind of square, 
kind of rock bugs from one platform to another and you get to leave them trails of paint for them to eat it's a neat it's a neat little uh game concept it's fun anyway so when you have the opportunity make sure that you are decorating um, areas and you're putting chairs down so that you can return later and hopefully see pistachio You just need to see them four times and then you should be able to get the outfit from them. As you will see at the end of this video, um, Pistachio had the two last costume pieces that I needed for um, the final collection trophies for, um, for the clothing. Let me see, because I haven't talked about that. Uh, for collecting the clothing items, you have Clothing Curious for 25%, Clothing Collector for 50% of the clothing items, and then Clothing Hunter for all 120 clothing items that you can collect. For the litter, it's Trash Mammal for 25%, Good Samaritan for 50%, and Ultimate Samaritan for collecting all 130 and then the decorator, as I mentioned, there's 223 pieces of decor that you need to collect. And it's between 130 and 135 pieces you get from beans for, for finishing um, your collection of all 40 lost kittens. So you'll get more than half of the decor just from beans, just from completing that, which is you know, quite a feat in and of itself to walk around the entire map and find all lost, all 40 lost kids or kittens as they are, but they call them kids in the game. But for, for the decorator trophies, you get casual decorator for 25%, serious decorator for 50%, which you, you should have that by the time you finish lost and found, if you're following uh, the roadmap that I have, and then Master Decorator Collect All Decor is for collecting all 223 pieces. And so that's the 130 or so pieces that Beans gives you. It's the, I believe, 74 items, and we will we will look at them later when we start buying things on the litter exchanges. I think it's 74 items you can actually purchase with the litter that you collect. Uh, it's 10 paintings from the master gallery in the Z's. it's the painting that chicory makes you uh the painting that your biggest fan gives you in brecky the family portrait from your mother that is very very important that you get as i mentioned uh once in this video and at the beginning of the first video as well uh there is the the flag that Chicory gives you at the very end of the story, after you roll credits and everything, Chicory will give you a flag and ask you to plant it somewhere so that um, you can tell them where they should build their new home. And there's also three Chicory plants. There's three honeysuckle plants that you get from the koala, and I still have not looked up their name. We will see them later. They will be one of the other... Um, decoration quests that we will look at later in the video um there are the couch that we just got and the video game console which you will get from the it's like a fox i think it's a fox he's like a fox um twitch streamer that you deliver a package to or a piece of mail to for the uh, postal service slash such great heights trophies um they will give you a gaming console that's the only ones i can think of for now again most if not all of them will be in this video uh we will we'll close the video out by by uh getting all of the decor but for now we're still collecting lots of the clothing pieces and lots of the litter and we are now in Grub Deep. I really, as I mentioned before, I really love this uh, little game element here with these kind of boxy bugs that you can uh, 
jump on and ride from place to place. When you originally come here, you can't swim through paint. Oh, no, you can swim through paint. You can't swim up walls. So you get that ability when you finish this area the first time in, uh, I think it's chapter three. And some really neat uh, bugs in here, especially the queen. Really, really fun, big um, set pieces. And uh, and the queen herself is, is massive, <laughs> massive in size. They could probably eat us up with one bite. A couple fun conversations you can have in this area too. There's one, I think we, we'll see them soon. One bug says, um, well, you can't climb up the wall here because only bugs can do that. And then you do it and they're like, whoa, I can't believe you did that. Uh, it's just a funny little scene. It's just some cute little dialogues in here that always, uh, always kind of interests me. Oh, here we go. This is the first litter exchange. Um, you can use your litter to buy 24 items in this shop if you buy all of them you'll have 24 new decor items in your in your collection and I I don't I mean we can certainly see how much it costs we had about I think it was about a hundred there and you'll see how much we have once we're done um, but some of them cost one piece of litter some of them cost three in the music Litter exchange in Tea Time Meadows. I believe it's you can buy instruments for one litter, and then you can buy record players for four pieces each. And then the litter exchange in dinners is all it's all plants, flowers, I think trees, a couple other kind of like horticulture uh, pieces. And I think the prices. I think there's three different prices in there. But if you've collected all 130 pieces of litter, you're going to end up spending all 130 pieces of litter in these three litter exchange shops at these three vendors. So if you can't buy something, if you don't have enough litter to buy something, that means you need to go out in the world and figure out which piece of litter you missed. So consult this guide. Hopefully this will help you figure out what you're missing. If you need one more piece of litter to buy the very last piece and you're stumped you have no idea what you missed make sure that you go and talk to spinach right outside of dinners and they will tell you where they're where the litter that you're looking for is what screen well i mean i guess they'll tell you what area of the map uh and how many screens there that uh the litter is in or on so that's basically how it goes. We'll see the other two litter exchanges later in the video and we'll work our way back up. Um, this guy right here. Oh, we'll come back and do it in a minute. <laughs> it just cracks me up. I don't know why these small little cute little fun, um, just little surprises of the game are what really make it just a, a joy to play. Yeah, the only complaint I had about this game was the fact that the family portrait was lost to me in my first run. The only, only problem I had with it. I mean, the collectibles, there's so many collectibles. It, see, there he goes. He goes, whoa! Um, the collectibles are so many. It's just a massive amount. Um, and it's very hard to keep track of them. Um, in any in any good decent organized way um, that it gets a little cumbersome but uh, it's still fun it's still you know still a good time but uh, yeah the only the only complaint I have about this game is is how the decor collection played out for me and I I hope I I sincerely hope that nobody else falls into uh, the problems that I that I had. I hopefully this guide can help you uh, resolve that issue before it becomes an issue, and uh, and hopefully luck is on your side and you don't even have to worry about it. So, 
Um, so I'm going to let this play out a little bit longer. We still have about half of the video left to go. Um, in about 10, 15 minutes, we'll probably uh, come back on. You can watch as I buy 29 more items um, at the, the plant shop. And then the, uh, the music litter exchange, I believe, has 19. So like I said, 74 decor items that you'll add. Um, and you should be in you should end up spending every piece of litter that you collect all 130 pieces of litter that you collect uh, at these three exchanges so i will be back and we will look more and, and talk more uh in depth about the decor as we get close to uh working towards the the platinum trophy here on this on this uh collectible guide i did realize there is one more thing i should probably mention is that um, if you're taking very good notes and you know exactly where you are as far as how many you've collected um, pertaining to the litter especially, uh, it, this may not pertain to you, but what I will say is the amount of litter that is shown in the uh, collection screen um, and the, the number that you're seeing right now in the uh, the top right hand of the screen is the amount of litter that you have on hand. So when you use some of the litter to buy some of these decor items, um, the amount of litter you have on you changes. Obviously, the number goes down. So as we as we had already collected about a hundred pieces of litter. Um, it's going to be harder to keep track of how many we have and how many more we need. Um, you'll see me pick up and that piece of litter, by the way, in the corner there is the, I don't know how I forgot it, but is the very last piece of litter that I collect in this guide. I have no idea how I missed it, but it's there. It's big, it's noticeable, but anyway, um, so you'll see eventually we're going to get, um, again, I haven't been, paying perfect attention. I, th I don't know if we're at 100 exactly, but I think we're pretty close. Uh, and so you'll see litter 101 or litter 102. Um, a litter, there you go, litter 103. So that's the 103rd one, but when we collect it, it says we have 21. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you, if you really, if you're kind of um, OCD like I am, and you really want to make sure that the numbers add up, then you don't have to buy any of the, any of these decor items from any three of these, um, litter exchanges until, until you're ready to finish that collectible, um, until you're ready to collect all of those decor items basically. So if you wanted to wait until you had all 130 pieces of litter and then go to those three vendors and buy all the things you need to buy, then, um, that might, that might work better for you. But I would, I kind of did this by area and, um, wanted to show as we were in grub deep where that vendor was and then buy all those items so that we could clear that area out. Uh, but you know, if you decide that it works better for you to handle one collectible at a time, then I would say collect all 130 pieces of litter and then go back to those vendors and buy all the decor items. And here we have hummus, the koala bear I was talking about earlier. They are, um, they're a little sad and they talk about their friend who passed away. So they basically ask you to create a little garden for them. As you can see, we already have 201 pieces of decor now that we've purchased all this other stuff. So you basically plant enough plants and then, um, hummus will ask you to leave to give them some some time to um 
kind of deal with their feelings. And then when you come back, they will give you honeysuckle and it will be three, three decor items, um, three plants of honeysuckle. Uh, and what I did there also, I don't know if I did it there. I may have come back and, and done it later is eventually I put a couple chairs uh, for people to sit in and you will see towards the end of the video that finally pistachio ends up sitting in one of this, those chairs but uh, we will deal with that when we come to it
This last uh, decorate quest I listed as four of four. You actually don't get any reward for decorating the beach, but it ends up being one of the four places, well, in one of the four places I end up getting pistachio to show up. The, um, the other place you'll see later is in the middle of dinners, and it's not, it's not an area that anyone tells you to decorate. Uh, so <laughs> I... I thought maybe I'd call that decorate five of five, but you know, um, but again, it's not, it's not a place where you're supposed to decorate anything, but I just, I did want to point out that you don't get a reward for decorating the beach. Um, and the girl, I don't think she ever gets the drink that she wants to get, <laughs> but I wanted to point that out. You'll see later. Um, actually right here, pistachio shows up here. So Pistachio says he has something for you. So next time you see him or them or whatever it is, um, they will be able to start giving you some clothing items. So there you go. Thank you. 
I just wanted to mention the uh, the piece of litter that I pointed out that was in the bottom left corner of dinners. I still haven't picked that up. And so you will see me leave this vendor with one more record player to buy. Um, but in total, there's 19, 19 items you can buy from this store. So you're gonna eventually see me pick up that last piece of litter and come back to here and pick up the last record player and complete it but I just wanted to make that clear in the video. Hey folks, it's Penny again. I'm just stopping in actually a few weeks after I uh, released this video on YouTube and realized that uh, counting things up, I only had 222 pieces of decor accounted for. So I went back and I looked and your character's bed is actually counted in that number of 223. So I wanted to point that out because we're, you know, right now we're buying um, all these music players, which is part of the decor, and we're going to look at collecting all the rest of the decor. So keep that in mind when you're when you're doing your final counts. The bed that you already own in the beginning of the game is one of the 223 pieces of decor. So keep that in mind. All right. So towards the end, I was getting a little confused about what, what I was missing. Uh, this was in my first playthrough when I, the last item that I needed was the family portrait and I couldn't get it. Uh, but I did want to show this throughout the entire game. If you ever are stumped and you don't know what to do, you can always run to one of these phones. You can call your mom who will hand the phone off to your dad, who's a, an adorable raccoon character and uh, he will give you detailed instructions on what you need to do while you're trying to work your way through the story 
or if you've already finished the story, your mom will point you towards where some of the collectibles are or some of the things you can do. Maybe advise you to finish your classes or or go and uh, visit certain areas just to, to uh, experience those areas. So here's Pistachio. Here's the third time we get them to show up and they will offer us the mascot body, which we will take. And the next time we see them, they will give us the mascot head and that'll be that. I think that's that's right here. Here we go. Here's the final time we see Pistachio. And that mascot head is the actual final clothing item that we need. So we will now see the trophy pop in just a second here. There you go. Clothing Hunter for getting all 120 clothing items. And here is that little piece of litter. I don't know how I forgot it. I don't know how I missed it, but there it is. Right in the bottom corner of dinners. It's an area that we have to kind of move a couple. There's the Ultimate Samaritan trophy. But the problem was that you have to go a couple screens. We have to go up and over a couple screens in order to go up in that higher area there's like two or three different levels there and there's some collectibles that are on those those cliffs and that's probably why we missed it and we're just going to go in here and buy the last item so 221 is the number that we were at at that point so I was still missing two items, and as I mentioned, the family portrait was the one that I was missing. I wanted to show this. This is the flag that Chicory gives you. I am 99% sure that it is counted in your decor items. You get it at the very end of the story after the credits roll. Chicory will hand it to you and tell you to place the flag where you think they should live. This is the Elevensies Master Gallery, and when you finish all 20 classes in the Arts Academy in Potluck, half of the paintings you will paint will be your own versions of these master paintings. And once you have painted all 10 of the master paintings, which will be um, all 20 classes, every other class, um, you'll be able to come to the Elevensies Master Gallery and get all 10 of those paintings for your decor collection. And this is our biggest fan. Um, I'm sure it said what <laughs> the guy's name is or or whatever the bird's name is. But they've been following us around the whole time and, uh, and they have given us their reproduction of our self-portrait. And of course we want to let them know that it is the best thing anyone has ever given us because it is. And so here's where the uh, the decor collection ends. Again, I advise you to watch the cartographer trophy uh, and the brush strokes, uh, the stylist and style pro trophy guide, because in there we show Radish's story and uh, it will culminate in her having a, a gallery showing in either the luncheon cafe or some other restaurant um she asks you to to pick which one i always pick the luncheon cafe and uh beetroot is is that right outside the cafe there that is radish's mother and you can visit her in her home on the right side of the um sips river and she will kind of guide you towards any clothing items that you're missing but um, as I was saying, Radish's story culminates in a gallery showing in one of these places, and she will give you one of her paintings that you can choose, one of the three that she's showing, and uh, that will count as a decor item. I'm showing you everything here that we've picked up, purchased, been uh, rewarded with by finishing quests. There is the extra brush flower at the top of the garden collection. I suggest when you do the wielder trial in is it the rainforest? I think it's the rainforest. I think it's the banquet rainforest. You are told to pick up four of the five brush flowers 
So make sure you collect all five of them. They're very easy to collect. Um, and you know, if you don't know where those are, you can follow my, uh, my walkthroughs here on the channel. So that was the final decor and we got the trophy and we got a platinum and it definitely took me a little longer than I would like. So I'm hoping this guide helps you get through this a lot easier than the time that I had getting it and having to do a full second playthrough. Hope this helped. Hope that you have enjoyed this game and that you can uh, have a good time with it. So thanks for uh, watching. Hope this helped. Hope to see you in the next one. Take care.